Washtenaw Baptist University, a place where students get the chance to turn their dream into a reality. And for a few, there's the opportunity to pursue and live out every passion. Hurts, this is certainly the case for Sheldon McCown, a junior here at Washtenaw. So no for Sheldon, daily life looks a lot like this. But it also looks like this. For Sheldon, medicine and baseball are his passions. I've been playing baseball since, you know, before I can remember. It's always just kind of been something I did. It's always, you know, how I made friends. It was always time I got to spend with my dad, you know, throwing BP to me, hitting ground balls to me. And so it's definitely been a part of me since I was, you know, just a little kid. It wasn't until his senior year of high school that Sheldon developed his love for medicine. And I really started to, you know, just kind of admire the body and how everything works together. And, you know, you always have all kinds of stuff going on inside your body, but your body can fix it. But then we had to do a project where we had to, you know, look into some sort of healthcare profession. And so I went and shadowed some doctors in town and I just really kind of realized how important their relationship is with the patients. I know that I've always, you know, our family has had health issues, that doctors have kind of been there for us. And I just really got to see firsthand in the doctor's office with lots of patients how they're able to interact with patients at such a vulnerable time in their life. Things seemed to be going according to plan for Sheldon. He was chasing after the career he wanted, all the while being able to go to school playing his favorite sport. But Sheldon was then faced with an unexpected obstacle. We saw my labrum was torn and it was either deal with it or have surgery and obviously I couldn't really deal with it so we decided surgery was the right option. The shoulder surgery forced Sheldon to miss his junior season. Despite the setback, he isn't letting this keep him from going forward. It's definitely been a strong motivator for me because it's kind of solidified even more so that I want to do this, that I want to become a doctor. And just made me realize, you know, I've had a, been impacted hugely by doctors. And so someday I'll be able to make that impact. The impact that Sheldon has had on his peers is definitely one that is significant. His strength has left a mark on many, especially his anyway, best friend. Uh, he's definitely inspired me. I mean, being one of my best friends, he's, he's inspired me many ways from a, uh, you know, whenever he found out that he tore his labrum, it would have been very easy for him to get down and be depressed about it and saying like, oh, well, I'm not going to play anymore, my arm's not going to be the same. But after his surgery, you know, I, I helped him out with um, his sling and all kinds of stuff and ever, like, all through that, he was just positive, never negative about it. Even though he hasn't been able to play this year, Sheldon has found another way to contribute to the team. Uh, ever since he got hurt, coaches set him up in the concession stand. And uh, as funny as it sounds, it's, it's been a major way of contributing because we've, we've uh, been able to scoop up some money in that, in that, uh, in that area. So. As the year comes to a close, Sheldon still has his eyes fixed on recovering for his senior season. So I do PT every morning before class. I just go through a bunch of exercises, kind of work in a lot of range of motion because that's a big thing to get back after surgery. And now I'm starting to transition into getting my strength back so I can start throwing soon. But his top priority is getting into medical school. I'll take the MCAT and start applying to all kinds of schools. Um, I'll definitely be applying mainly in Texas. That's kind of where I would love to practice someday. Sheldon has not had to face the injury or this journey alone. He's found support from family and friends. Without my friends and family, I mean, I probably wouldn't be here. Obviously, you know, my parents have influenced me my whole life and told me to be the best I can be in everything I can. And, you know, they were the ones pushing me to you know, go wherever you want, do whatever you want, but whatever you do, give it all you've got. So they've always encouraged me, you know, when others didn't believe in me, they were always my biggest supporters. And then my friends have been huge, you know, whether it's I'm kind of down from a rough test or a rough week of studying, you know, they kind of pick me back up or they help me know when to pull it back and take a little time away from the books. So they definitely help me balance out my studies and my life. <laughs> an inspiration to many and an example to follow. 
Sheldon McCown will be able to walk away from Ouachita being grateful for the injury that once held him back, for it is the very thing that is now pushing him to chase after his true passion.